and if e stands for immediately invoked function expression. This means that it is a function that calls itself immediately after it is defined. So let's see how it is created. Let's declare a function here, function greet that says hello. So this is a simple function. And now if you want this function to execute its code, well you can call it. So we have the message. You can also call it with function methods like the call method or the apply method or you can use the bind method then call it. But this is not our topic now. You have also another way of calling a function and that is using ify which stands for immediately invoked function expression. So let's remove this call and try to make this function an ify. The first thing you need to do is to wrap this code within parentheses. Now it becomes an expression. Then you simply call it by adding parentheses. And now it is working. Great. Now you may be asking yourself, why should I use an immediately invoked function expression? I can simply remove the function and write the code directly here and not within a function. Well, you can. But I will show you why using an ify is very useful. Now, what happens when you declare a variable here? It becomes global. Then you will use it here. But since we have declared the variable here, it will be on the global object. And I just need it here. I don't need this variable after working with it. So this can pollute the global object. And also, when using JavaScript, you will be using libraries like jQuery or React. Imagine you declare a variable called x, and in the code for the library you are using, they also declared a variable x. If you don't use an ify, these two variables will be on the global objects, and they will conflict, which may cause some serious bugs. Instead, you can make use of an ify, remember, Whenever you create a new function, you are creating a new scope. This means whatever you put here, this will not conflict with other variables declared on other libraries. Ifs are almost everywhere. For example, if I go and take a look at the source code for jQuery, you will find an ify. I will go to GitHub and look for the jQuery library. So here we have an ify. And also, this ify has two parameters. So let's see how we can make our ify accept arguments. Here I will give two parameters to this function. The first one, I will console log it. Then the second one, and I will console log it. When we run the code, we have undefined for the first parameter and undefined for the second one. And that's normal because we're not given to this function any arguments. To give it arguments, you simply put them here. So let's try 5.2. And now we have 5.2. Great. Remember, each variable that you declare here will always be local to this function. You don't have access to it in the global space. Var i equal to 5. Here I can access this variable within this function but in the global space, it does not exist. Now, what if you want from your immediately invoked function expression to create a global variable? Well, you have first to give it the global object. Let's add a parameter for the global object. Then here, you give it the window object. And now, if you want to create a global variable, you simply attach it to the global object. In our case, the global object is the window object. And now, after the ify, I have access to this variable. Great. 